replacing the Bellevue plates is a standard force and clutch. We've already removed the ringer bolts that are around here, taken the split pins out, taken the heads off, taken the, the hex heads off, taken the bolts out. So at the moment that's just sitting under um, pressure from the press. And we've pressed it all the way down. It is important to press it all the way down because if you don't press it so that you've pushed it all the way flat, um, this will start to open up. So pressing the clutch out. When you press the clutch down, you need to make sure that there's no gap at the bottom, so you've pressed right down, because if there's any gap, then the springs will force the bottom down. I'm just going to let a bit of pressure off and just let this gently come back up so that it separates, hopefully without it all going ping, and then we can have a bit of a look at the state of the Bellevue plates. This is one of the reasons that we're doing this clutch, is to show you the importance of clipping the clutch down when you're not using the tractor. Lots and lots of people leave their standard Fultons with the clutch clipped up. I do say you can do this job with a G clamp, but I'm not sure I'd want to. And presses a lot more uh, steady. Yep, that's it. So, this is your Bellevue plates, and they're supposed to have a dish in, and they're alternate. So you've got a driven and a driver. Um, one is slotted on the outside and slots into the outside of the clutch mechanism, and one is slotted on the inside, and there's fingers that go through on the inside of the clutch mechanism that sit in there, which Sam's cleaning up at the moment. So these are the Bellevue plates. Now they're called Bellevue plates because they're supposed to be bent. A Bellevue is a bent plate. And you have one bent one way and then a flat plate. So that one should be bent one way. Then you have the flat plate in the middle and then that one's bent the other way. What you can see with these, because they're old and they're worn and they're not bent anymore, is that they're pretty much flat. And that's the problem with a standard force and clutch, when a standard force and clutch doesn't work very well, is normally because these plates have gone flat. So what you should have, if I take the centre plate out of these two, and put these two together, what you should get, I don't know where you can see that, is a gap in between. And they're absolutely flat together. Now if we look at the new ones, I'll just clean my hands on my jeans. If I do the same with the new ones, and put them together, what you've got there is a gap in between. And that gap gets squashed. So when you've got your foot on the clutch, the spring in that Bellevue plate forces the plates apart and it forces the, the uh, adhesion to break. When you take your foot off the clutch, the big springs, these big springs that are in the clutch, push all of that lot together and it pushes it flat. So for instance, if you leave your standard Fulton with the clutch up, when you park it, it's constantly pressing those rings flat. And because it's constantly pressing those rings flat after a period of time, they bend absolutely flat and you end up with flat plates like these are instead of Bellevue plates where they're bent like that. So you should always leave your standard Fulton parked with the clutch clamped down so that it leaves the Bellevue plates with a spring in them like that. If you leave it with the clutch up, you're leaving it with them clamped absolutely flat. So all the Bellevue plates are in, and what you do is you put um, the centre plates in. You've got one Bellevue plate that way, then a centre plate flat, then another Bellevue plate that way, then a centre plate flat, and you alternate them. And what you should end up with is a nice springy uh, set of plates in there like that, so it should be nice and springy. Whereas if you get the original ones now, I know we've got a couple missing, you try and spring those, there's no spring in those at all because they're absolutely flat, they're absolutely warm right out, they're absolutely flat. And that's the cause of that, a lot of the cause of that is purely from leaving the clutch up when you're not using the tractor. So always clip your clutch down. But that's how it should look, nice and springy like that. So all we've got to do now is press the whole lot down in the, in the uh, press so that it's all pressed together. Compress these springs, put the ring of bolts around, new set of um, split pins in the top. Jobs are good.